So obviously Vich Waltis is on the undercard. Yeah. Um, what do you think of Vich Waltis? I no, wait, 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 wait. Luis Ortiz, sorry, Luis Ortiz, bro. Luis Ortiz, what do you think of that signing with Matchroom? Well, I think he's class. He's a real talented heavyweight. Do you know what I mean? He's got so much potential, so he's right now going to prove himself to the British public because a lot of people have been hearing about him, I think, due to the fact that he's a Cuban fighter. Mm -hmm. Just their heritage alone comes with some sort of credentials, so I think that he can now showcase what he's about come uh, December the 10th. So yeah, man, I think it's a, it's a smart move by the end. Would you be a fan that will be interested in like next year, obviously, if you get past me? Oh, what, Lewis Ortiz? Yeah, yeah. One step at a time, yes, but <laughs> this is how it yeah, seems yeah. to me, is that uh, Melina, Klitschko, then that, so it's like, let me just... Take your time. Take you know how they say the world wants everything in one exactly. go. Yeah, okay. so I, it is. It is so much potential, but at the end of the day, if I don't focus on winning. Like right, what's in front of me, I think none of these things are going to happen. Because mm -hmm. the only reason people want to fight me is because of what comes with it at the minute. If I'm not at the top of the pecking order, my name vanishes. So I need to keep my name up there. In order for these fights to happen, I need to keep my name ringing well. I mean, I've been looking on social media about the, obviously the feedback would be about I mean, and a lot of fans are disappointed. Is that because you were built up because you were nah, facing Klitschko? I just think that I don't, I don't fight for the fans, number one. And I'm not shy to say that. That's just the truth. This is about self. You know, even when everyone gets in the ring, Remember, everyone steps out, and it's just me and my fighter left. So, you have to do it for self. This is a great developing fight. This isn't about hype. Yeah, Melina is in a household name in Great Britain, but his last outings show he's capable of putting up a good performance. He's a better fighter, he's ranked higher, and these were the, the last two options were David Price and Eric Melina. And if you weigh it up, Melina is actually currently a better fighter. He chose a better fighter, so I can see that a lot of the public are now buying into the hype. But this is this is about my own development as well as performing for the people. So we've had fights like the Dylan White fight, which is high, the Charles Martin fight, the Brazils, who was going to fight Klitschko. And as soon as you try and do something right for your own career, then so you've got to do for self. You can't always try and please others. I know you're not a man of prediction, but how do you see this fight going? I don't know. I'm not Muhammad Ali. I can't. Remember. I don't know. Probably yeah. yeah. Five yeah, within five. God willing. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Fifteen minutes of work, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we see you in Manchester. Go yeah. good.